Hi everyone, I'm Carol Keller, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Antioch, Illinois in the United States, coming to you for my usual Tuesday Live. And I changed it up a little bit. I had been planning on using the Waves of the Ocean collection today for my card, and then I changed my mind. Just seeing um, a lot of cards that I've seen from other demonstrators using the Celebrate Sunflowers set and showing making cards in support of Ukraine. So I decided to change it up and do that instead. So we will use the Waves of the Ocean collection next week. So if you're looking forward to that, and I'm actually using one of the components of that collection today, which you'll see in a few minutes. And I haven't used this bundle yet, so I'm excited. So I'm gonna turn my camera around right away so that we can get started with the project. Ooh, okay, so let's get going. I think that we've got pretty good um, coverage here, but this is the card that I made today. And again, the colors for Ukraine, but you could use other colors if you want to make a card just for someone's birthday or something like that. And actually, this one that I made is in support of Ukraine, Know That You Are Loved. And on the inside, I just did another sunflower because that's the, the sunflower is the national flower of Ukraine. I don't know if I said that. But I'm going to make one today that actually is going to be a congratulations card partly because it's another stamp in the set and partly because I need to make one because one of my downline promoted to Bronze Elite. Yay! So here is the set, the stamp set, and the dies that we're going to be using today, the sunflower dies. So it cuts this out, but it also cuts out just the outline and the leaves and the other images, some of the other images from the set. And plus it has some separate things that you can cut out as well. It's a great set. And like I said, I hadn't used it before, so I'm excited to use it. And we're starting out, I know it doesn't look like it, but we're starting out with a basic white card base. Although if you saw the inside, you know that's what I used. And we're just gonna flatten it with the bone folder. And I have already cut out the components, but I'll tell you the measurements for each one. Here is my sunflower and I did put an adhesive sheet on the back because it is so delicate it makes it much easier and less messy. Those of you who know me know I'm like not a big fan of messy glue so I like using my adhesive sheets when I can. But the piece of Pacific Point is obviously the same size as the card front so that's four and a quarter inches by five and a half or if you have an A4 card 10.5 centimeters by 14.9. And we are going to pull out the multi-purpose liquid glue to put that on because I do like to do that when I have a piece of cardstock that's the same size as the card front because you want it positioned exactly and the glue gives you some wiggle room before it dries to be able to do that. But even if it's a little smaller than I usually use my stamp and seal. So really you could use either one. All right, and I've got this. I'm finding that these basic white cards are a smidge bigger, but I think it'll be good. I think it's pretty close. So here is our card base with our first layer. And then for this one, this is a four inch square, or if you're working in centimeters, it is, let me see, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters square piece of Daffodil Delight. And all I did was die cut the... Um, beautiful sunflower out and like I said there's an adhesive sheet on the back so for this all I have to do is peel it off and stick it to the project this is going to be actually a very fast card I'm thinking today because the prep work is all done start it from this side and it doesn't matter which way you put it down because it's square of course I think we'll do this and we'll just make sure those three edges, the top and the sides are pretty even. And then burnish that to get that adhesive to stick to the card. And then this piece, also Daffodil Delight of course, is one and an eighth inches by four inches or 4.3 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And I am gonna bring in my stamp and seal for that. And now if you're not brave, you can stamp first and then put this on. But I'm gonna be brave and put it on and hope that my stamping is even. 
And I'm gonna show you, I'll show you how to make sure that's the case. And you're using red rubber stamps like these are. But first, actually, let's put that sunflower in the center. So all you have to do, there's only one right way. And I, yeah, I just picked a section that I thought I could line up and you'll see that's how it fits in there. So again, we're gonna just peel the backing off that adhesive sheet. And there are little dots in the middle that need to come out and we may need to poke some of those out before we lay it down. Some come off with the paper and some do not. Not too bad. Let's see. Oh, well, not too bad at all. But you do wanna get them out of the way. Grab my take your pick tool. I see a couple here and I'm just trying to push them off onto my finger so I can get them out of the way and then I'll double check the back a couple of them just so that they don't interfere with adhering it to the card front all right I'd say that's pretty good and of course a couple of wayward ones here okay so now same thing I'm gonna find that same space and then line it up kind of all the way around here and then we're gonna give it a good burnish because we want that adhesive to stick and I don't mind if some of the edges stick up a little bit that makes it look more 3d but I don't want them all sticking up because I don't want it to come off. So I'm going to burnish it pretty well. And so we're almost done. Just a little bit of stamping. So I'm going to grab, this time I'm going to use the Let's Celebrate You stamp because like I said, I need a congratulations card. And so for the red rubber, where's my scrap? Here is how you can make sure that it's straight when you, or increase the chance that it's straight when you stamp when I stamp on that one on the card, my Pacific point is very tight, this ink pad. So what I'm gonna do is ink it up and then kind of put it along one of the lines on the grid paper. Ooh, and that does look nice and straight. Okay, so I'm gonna be careful not to rock, but then I'm gonna bring this in and hopefully same thing will happen. It will be nice and straight. Yes. And then that's it for the Pacific Point ink. Because on the inside, I use the Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to grab that. And I got the big sunflower from the set. And because it's large, we're going to take ink pad to stamp. Get some good coverage. Sometimes those red rubbers can be a little bit crooked, so it's nice to make sure they're straight. And then we're gonna stamp this on the inside. And I'm doing it on this side because it is so large, I want room to write on this side. Oh, and I forgot to, oh no, I did grab it. I've got my sentiment, I lied. We do need the Pacific Point. I think though, on the envelope that I originally did, I did black. I think I'm going to try the Daffodil Delight while I have it out. And I'm going to bring that scrap back in. And I'm going to scrap, or I mean stamp, so that the leaves are off of the envelope. So that I get the sunflower and that nice Daffodil Delight. Make sure it's right side up. And we'll do it in the corner. Perfect. All right. So now we are done with the Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to grab that Pacific Point again. And the sentiment on the inside says, congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. Isn't that nice? All right, move this out of the way. And I'm risking it on this one, that it's straight. And it was doesn't happen very often but sometimes especially with the narrow ones it seems like they can be off so that is why I sometimes do a test run on my grid paper 
All right, we are almost done. The only thing we have to add, some bling. And so now this is where I'm using the Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels that come from the Waves of the Ocean collection. And I purposely use these because they're all different shades of blue and green. And on the website for Stampin' Up! it just says Night of Navy and I think Balmy Blue and Bermuda Bay or Coastal Cabana or something like that. There are more colors than that. Looks like maybe Granny Apple Green. And this definitely, I think, is Pacific Point. So that's why we are using it. So I'm going to grab my Take Your Pick tool again. I lost the little cover. For, there it is, the cover for the tip. That is sharp. We're going to cover that up and use the putty end and put on some bling. So I just put um, a larger one. Oh, and this is different too because it's, let's see, how do we want to do it this time? I think we'll do this side. The large one and then a really small one. And then in the opposite corner, we'll do a medium one. Just take your eye right around that card. How does that look? And that's it. That is our card. I think that's a record for me to be done that quickly. And again, you can decide which way you want to do the envelope. But I think I like it with the Daffodil Delight, especially since there's the sunflower on the inside. But that is our card for today. So if you have a friend, a Ukrainian friend, and you want to show some support, you can send a card with this sentiment. Otherwise, congratulations. And let's see what else is on that set. I don't remember. Oh, there's thanks a bunch. So you could use it as a thank you card or you could grab another set and do happy birthday or whatever for whatever occasion you need. So thanks so much for watching. Remember too, this is actually one of the bundles that is 20% off this month instead of the usual 10%. So that's exciting. This is one of the bundles, that stamp set and die set, because the dies coordinate with the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So they all fit in there which makes it nice and easy. They all are, you can use them together. And that mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, I've got it. I don't have one. I have to get it on order. So I can show you how little and compact it is. Perfect for traveling for my scrapbook getaway weekend. I know some of you who are watching are coming to that. I'm very excited about that. We've got a nice group coming. This Saturday is also another global share fair. So I'll do a little commercial for that. If you are a customer of mine, you know that you can join that global share fair. Just reach out to me if you haven't gotten an invite already. We do them about every other month. And our global vlog hop went live yesterday, so check that out. I have, I don't know if I have it handy, but the card that I made, I did post the card on my Facebook page already, the one that I used for the vlog hop, and then there are lots of other designs. Our theme was thank you, so there are lots of thank you projects for you to see. And I think that's it. Everything that's coming up right now. I have my paper pumpkin party at the end of the month. So if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber and you want to come work on a kit, please do so. And I think that's about it. Take care, everyone. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.